Good morning, church. Well, I hope you recovered from this past weekend. Some amazing things that God has been doing throughout that glorious Holy Week. Good Friday, quiet Saturday, celebration Sunday. You know, uh, just humbled and blessed that God would allow me to be a part of that, to uh, be able to carry his message and to be able to be in the environment of God's people as we celebrate the glorious things that God has done for us. So today, as we look at the scriptures, we want to hear a challenge that Jesus put forth to us. And I want to bring that forward from all that happened last week, the realizations of everything Christ has done for us. Let's listen to the word that he speaks in truth in a parable of the two sons. But what do you think about this? A man with two sons told the older boy, son, go and work in the vineyard today. The son answered, Nah, I won't go. But later he changed his mind, and he went anyway. Then the father told the other son, You go, he said. Yes, sir, I will. But then he didn't go. Which of the two obeyed his father? Now Jesus is asking this, telling the story and asking the question of these religious leaders, and they replied the first. And so Jesus responds to them and says, um, I tell you the truth. Corrupt tax collectors and prostitutes will get into the kingdom of God before you do. For John the Baptist came and showed you the right way to live, but you didn't believe him, while tax collectors and prostitutes did. And even when you saw this happening, you refused to believe him and repent of your sins. Man. See, what Jesus is teaching us and what he was teaching them is it's not the words that you say. It's the truth of the life that you live. Repentance, living that truth is what matters. Not a position in the church, not what people think of you. God knows you and God knows whether you're living it or not. And he's trying to teach us as he was teaching them that obedience to God is what it's all about. And so while we celebrated and we said a lot of amazing things to God, which is great, and maybe we even repented of some things and said we were going to live differently, today let's put that into action and be the obedient children of God that he's called us to be as we serve the risen Savior. Let's be his church. God bless you today.